we've been creating a hopefully amazing piece of art here. It's great that we have a, a cause, shine a light on, on the ocean. That is probably where we all came from and it's the most important thing in our, our planet in so many ways. It is all about the fascination of the oceans. This idea came very natural through art to raise uh, awareness on this huge and very difficult uh, topic. There's no doubt that life began in the oceans. Now, the oceans are 71% you know, of the surface of the Earth. But when you actually look at what controls climate, what makes the Earth habitable is the ocean. Nothing on Earth is separated from the ocean. The ocean um, really affects everything. The ocean is really key in regulating processes like heat transport and gas exchange. Our understanding of the ocean can help us to understand the processes accompanying climate change. Understanding the ocean, because it's so connected to us all, is key for making sure that the planet stays healthy things that we want to protect or to understand are the very things that are the key to survival. Today, our children and grandchildren are growing up with, with these imagery. These large ice sheets are out of balance. So as you have more and more ice being lost from Greenland and the Antarctic, entering the ocean more than is being replaced back on the ice sheet, you have the largest contributing piece to global sea level rise is coming from this ice loss worldwide. Back when I was an undergrad, I did ship on an SEA boat that was across the Atlantic Ocean. And my job on the ship was counting microplastics. Basically, the, I left this experience thinking, wow, this, this is a really hard problem. And there are plastics out here where I haven't seen you know, land for a week, two weeks. The ocean is you know, tremendously vast and um, hard to explore. The high concentrations of microplastics in the ocean can change ocean ecology. I absolutely see a connection between art and science. Constantine Brancusi, my all-time favorite sculptor. He's got one called Bird in Flight that's basically just like this swoop. You would never guess that's a bird looking at it, but if you have the phrase bird in flight in your head, you look at it and you're like, oh my gosh, that's exactly how a bird moves. It is boiling something down to its basic elements and expressing it in the most coherent way possible. I want to make science the way Brancusi sculpts. One of the difficulties in science is it's really hard to communicate to everyone uh, on a broad scale and having collaborations with artists really makes that a lot easier. You can really tap into people's emotions and feelings a lot more than I can do with you know, equations and pictures. The beauty of La Mer is that it tries to tell a very important story and we can try to connect the audience on uh, a much more deeper level with the cause of the piece. I think we're at a time when there's a real desire to cross collaborate with a lot of artistic mediums. This project's just going to be a great example of that and I'm excited to be on stage with the dancers to really interact and collaborate in a direct, real-time way. When you walk into the room, um, you kind of have the feeling that you are close to something wild and alive, uh, but it's completely made up of digital code, so to say. I try to grasp this kind of sublime feeling of being in awe of nature, um, but completely digital. I'm really excited to be a part of a project that uses the power of art to really connect us in a personal way to issues like climate change and maybe even compel us to act. First and foremost, we're putting a piece of art on stage. The second thing is we're shining a light on a topic 
that hopefully people will pay more attention to. Science is an incredibly creative process. I think of it actually as creating knowledge. We are learning things that people have never learned before. I run a research lab and we develop instruments for studying the ocean and I work with all the scientists across our whole country that use our deep submergence vehicles. So we look at um, greenhouse gases, we look at plastics in the ocean, we're really developing the technology to be able to measure these things in the ocean. At the most basic level, the, the exciting part of my work I think comes from the sense of discovery. I count myself as, as a lucky person to be able to explore the literal ends of our Earth, to be able to go places no one's gone before, whether that's ice cap on the coast of Greenland or the middle of the Antarctic ice sheet. And I'm interested in the dynamics and movement of the ocean, things like waves of all different scales, how the ocean transports properties such as heat or microplastics. I work on trying to develop a sensor to detect microplastics in the environment. And so one of the big questions is, with this continued exposure to plastics, what's the impact to human health and, and what's the impact to overall different environmental factors? I'm not trying to solve an applied problem. I'm not trying to build a technology. I'm trying to just fundamentally understand how the world works. Understanding the ocean is the key to maintaining it. The oceans of the world, they are magic. It was great to see these incredible people who, whose life work is to find solutions. We go from crisis to crisis to super crisis to catastrophe crisis and I met so many of you who were so resilient and excited about pushing forward and not at all this feeling of too late or and no one is listening, uh, on the contrary. So I am very optimistic, I am very hopeful. I think, you know, the world recognizes the enormous challenges ahead of us and we are making tremendous progress. Our ecosystem is resilient and having the biodiversity that we do in the ocean makes me optimistic. If we as humans can bring ourselves to reduce carbon emissions and actually stop the impact that has been happening up to this point, I have a lot of hope for the future of the ocean. It feels really cathartic uh, to feel like we're really directly engaging with these issues. Art can provide that escape from the real challenges we face, which is important. We need a balance but we can't always be escaping from it.